All right, guys, I'm in Oak Island right now, and I'm back on the quest for crabs. Now, I'm after a very specific type of crab. This is the ghost crab, or more specifically, the Lansing ghost crab. Now, the reason I'm after this specific species of ghost crab is in my previous video, I went to the North Washington National Forest, and we found a crayfish using a black light. Well, I'm wanting to try to apply that very same technique to the little ghost crabs here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get them up close to the camera real quick. You can see. But I'm going to set them down in this bucket here. And uh, I have with me right here. So if we get it up close shot of him. Now, in a second, I'm going to kill the main light. What I have here is a Ultrafire UV black light. Um, it's actually really cool, but this is what we're going to be using in the video today, or tonight. But if we can kill the main light real quick, we're going to see if this crab fluoresces under the UV black light. If you guys are ready, oh. Should we set, I think we should set them free real quick. Let's walk over to the ocean. Because I bet with the with him against the sand, it's gonna be a little bit better. So if we can kill the main line one more time. There we go. Oh look at him. So their legs actually do glow. So we can bring the main lights back on. Um, now what I'm planning to do is some ghost crabs I feel like will light up better than others. So we're gonna keep searching. And we're going to see if we can actually use a UV black light to find the ghost crabs. But that's pretty cool. So they do fluoresce a little bit, but we're going to keep searching. And we're, I feel like it's going to be a good video. We're going to have some good content. Right, so what we have here is a little mole, mole crab. Um, bring them up close to the camera real quick. This little mole crab. Pretty cool. Look. Little, little bit of bonus content for you. Pretty cool little critter. All right, so we're gonna let this little guy go here and watch what he does. Set him down, <laughs> scoot along the sand. And there he goes under the sand, just like a normal crab. Oh, we also caught a fish. All right, how do we let him? <laughs> wow, that's 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 insane. Okay, we're gonna let the fish go. We're gonna keep the speckled crab. Let the fish go. All right, guys. So you've seen the speckled swimming crab before. Let's go up to a little bit of a more controlled environment. All right. So what we have here is a speckled swimming crab. Yeah, as you can see, he's got speckling all along his back there. An absolutely ginormous claws. This is definitely one of the bigger ones we've seen tonight. But very cool to have this crab. And then we also caught a small fish. Uh, so that was a nice little, little surprise. But one cool, one really cool thing about this anim animal is its, uh, is its camouflage. Now, you can see all the speckling along its back which makes it blend into the sand perfectly. If we come back over to the beach real quick. Now I am going to cut them loose, but if we set them out, let this tide go out or this wave. If we set this little guy loose, he will burrow into the sand. Just give him a second. Or he might just straight up escape, I don't know. But you can see how they're their uh, speckling on their back looks just like the seashells on the beach and he's going to go out 
see if we can spot him. Yeah, he's just gonna go out. That was a good sized crab. Um, yeah, really cool find. Speckled, uh, speckled crabs, really cool. Okay guys, so this is by far the most insane catch of the night. We have a baby, what I believe is a black tip reef shark. Now, he was washed up on the beach, so we're about to let him go here in a second, but I wanted to bring this animal up close to the camera. I'm gonna pick him up for just a quick second. This is legit my first wild shark encounter. Wow, look at that. That is incredible. That is absolutely magnificent. Wow. Dipping down in the water. Yeah, he's alive. Very alive. Look at his eyes. Absolutely incredible. This is my first wild shark encounter. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Alright, so we're gonna let this one go. Get one more close up with it. Whoa. Whoa, look at his teeth. If you can get a close up of his mouth there. See his teeth in there? Alright. So we're gonna let him go if we've got all the close ups that we needed. We're ready. Angle, angle's good. Camera's ready. Here we go. Got it. Camera's on. Yep. All right, got another little ghost crab here. And these things are hard to grab. There we go. Another ghost crab. You can see. Hold him like that. There he is. Hey, buddy. A little bit, a little bit more information about this crab. The reason they're called ghost crabs is because of how fast they move. Now, I don't know if the, we caught that on camera, but like I was running after this guy. So they're extremely fast and uh, they disappear just like a ghost would. So, very fast little critters. That's a good shot of him. Um, he's out and about, as you can see. Now, he did try to pinch me, but it didn't hurt. Like I felt it, but it didn't hurt. But, really cool little crab. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite. The Atlantic ghost crab. So awesome find. Um, we're gonna set him loose real quick. And again, you're gonna see how fast these little guys are in action. So I'm gonna set him go. Ready, three, two, one. All right, guys. So I'm gonna actually pick up this uh, speckled crab. I'm gonna get him to the wall here. There we go. Don't you try. There we go. Speckled swimming crab. So, again, this crab has perfect camouflage for hunting at night. And look at those claws. Perfect for catching fish. He's trying. He's trying. I don't think he can reach that far into his stomach. But perfect claws for catching fish at night. He's got these little bad clipper pieces. <laughs> really cool. Now he knows where my finger is. He's trying to push off of it with his leg. But real quick, I want to set this guy in the sand so I can demonstrate how his camouflage ability works. He may just go straight to the water, but let's get one more up close with him. One more up close shot. You can see his claws there. Wow. Impressive. All right, so I'm going to set this guy by the water and just holding him here just in case he doesn't go under. You can see how he matches perfectly with the surrounding seashells and sand. So I'm going to let him go like this and see what he does. He may burrow underneath the sand, he may not, but wait for this water to come in. Oh, it's just a little bit short. Maybe I can him a little bit further in. There we go. See how he's getting his claws facing us? He may burrow. But you see how he camouflages perfectly in with the sand and whatnot. Perfect camouflage. 
So overall, this has been a pretty productive night. All right, so we have another Atlantic ghost crab. This is the biggest one I've caught tonight. Huge ghost crab. So if we could please kill lights, we're about C. Are you ready? Oh, that's cool looking. That is cool looking. We got legs glowing neon. That's really cool looking. All right. So, massive ghost crab. Let's get him up for the camera real quick. Really cool find to end off the night. So do Atlantic ghost crabs fluoresce under black lights? Yes, but not much. I was expecting them to fluoresce like a scorpion would under a black light. You can sort of use a black light to find ghost crabs, but it's not very effective. They do glow a little, but you'd be better off just using a normal, stronger flashlight. This was a fun video to film and I enjoyed filming with the aquatic based animals, but that's all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.